And welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. We've got quite a ball game going on here. We're entering the bottom half of the sixth inning. Rockville on top, four to three over Germantown. And Kevin McTie leading off for Rockville. He'll be going up against Jose, Jose Sanchez, who came in in relief of Kevin Story in the last inning. And he starts it out with uh, one uh, just a bit outside. You know you beat me too at that time. <laughs> but Kevin McTie has been the hero and the goat in this game. He had the RBI ground out to uh, drive in the first run for Rockville in the second. Then he flew out to short center with runners on in the fourth. This is another guy kind of like Laser before him. He is now 0 for 7 on the year against Germantown. And he's, he's a guy who gets a lot of hits, so he's, he's due here. And you can hear his teammates. They are up on their feet on the edge of the dugout. They're really cheering him on. And right now, you'd have to say, if there is such a thing in momentum, it's with Rockville. Absolutely. And McTie is uh, the hometown guy, went to Rockville High School, so he's matriculated up the ladder here to uh, Germantown Rock, I'm sorry, uh, MC Rockville. Just a short uh, hop from Rockville High School. As a matter of fact, Rockville High School has been playing, uh, they played some games up here on the, uh, on the MC Rockville fields. And why not? It's a tremendous field as we talked about. So Kevin McTie, 6'3", 180, facing Jose Sanchez. Got quite a difference in height there between pitcher and, and batter. Maybe with the mound, raising him up a little bit, they're about the same height. Full count. Rockville would love to get their leadoff hitter on here. He swings right through a high fastball for strike three. That was a pure chase pitch right there, but little Sanchez over -eager. fooled him. Little over eager. You can see it was up there. And that's the kind of thing that, uh, that Tom Schaefer does not want to see out of his leadoff hitter in that inning. Here's Doug Story back up now. Nice little curveball there from Sanchez. Talking to Duck Lee, uh, who works with the pitchers for Germantown, he says that uh, Sanchez has very quick arm movement to the plate and a lot of power for a little guy. And that quick arm movement combined with the power makes the pitch look even faster. When it whips, at it, when it whips out that fast, a fastball might look a few miles per hour faster. That's why Randy Johnson in his heyday was almost unhittable. Such a quick guy who was almost seven feet tall. It's almost like he was placing that ball in the glove. There's Duck Lee right there, legendary Montgomery County baseball coach. He's worked with a number of high schools over the years. Right now, he is working with Sherwood High School as well as here at Germantown. He just loves the game of baseball, loves to teach it. And there's a pop, easy pop out to shortstop. Martinez gathers it in. That's one of those cans of corn you told me about earlier. You got it. And we have two outs now in the bottom of the sixth inning as Sanchez settles in nicely. And that brings up Morris. Uh, he's 0 for 2 so far. Got on in an air, with an error in the third, and he struck out in the fifth. P part of a base running adventure in the third. Got in on due to the error, and then stole a base on a pickoff attempt. That's right. He was actually picked off. They had him, uh, but the throw to first was uh, was in the dirt, and he was able to get to second base. And he pops it up on the right side. Adamas comes in. He gathers it in for the third out. That's an easy three up, three down inning for Jose Sanchez. We'll be right back with the top of the seventh. And Alex Adamas leading off after this.